In a time where AI is taking over, finding that one AI, one generative text AI is standing head and shoulders above the other, especially when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization. And what AI do you think this is? Yeah, if you guessed Google Bard, well then you're correct. Google Bard is actually getting better, so much better. Where I find that ChatGPT is going down like this, Google Bard's going up like this. And my question is this, why wouldn't it stand head and shoulders above the rest? Why wouldn't it get better and better over time? Because Bard is by Google. It's the reason that we do search engine optimization. It's the place where pretty much 86% of searches are actually done on search engines. Google basically built Google Bard from all of the information from Google. So if we learn how to utilize Google Bard correctly, it's just only going to help our businesses to actually get better on Google to get more visitors to our sites. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking at how to utilize Google Bard for search engine optimization. And look, we're not going to do it in a, like, I'm not going to go massively in depth into all the crazy strategies that can be done with it. What I'm going to show you is base core strategies that you need to take your web pages from position 15 up to the front page. So we're going to be looking at those things. We're going to utilize Google Bar to analyze your content, to actually look at it. And the beauty, the beauty of this is, is that Google Bar is free. And we're going to be getting it to do things that you'd pay $100, $200 a month for software tools to actually do. So I'm super excited to share this with you here. My name is Kieran Doyle. This is Get Free. And if I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope that I do with this video. I'm looking forward to it. So if you're new here, please give it a, a like uh, and let me know in the comments below if you've started to utilize Google Bard. So what I've done is I've just created a short little page here, a uh, document with some prompts for Google Bard. Okay. And the first one, as you can see, is can you access a live page if I provide you with a URL? Okay. And we're just going to paste it in here. Now, what Google Bard is going to tell you is that, yeah, sure, I can access a live page, okay? And this is the only downfall of Google Bard that I see. The What it gives me back in terms of answers when I give it a URL is not what I'm looking for and not what myself and yourself are looking for. So I started off with a negative here. So that basically means all I can do is go like this with what I'm going to show you. How we're going to overcome this issue with the URL. We're just going to say to Google Bard, can you analyze the page content and come up with ways to improve the page for SEO. And it's as simple as that. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and copy the text from our page. Now, I'm going to use a page that is, I'm trying to rank for why is my ClickBank account disabled? And I am position four above ClickBank and above Warrior Forum. So I want to get to the top. All right. So what I'm going to basically do, this was only, I did this seven days ago. So I'm trying to get it up to the top here. Okay. So I want to find out from Google, how I can actually get it to the top of the search engines. So we're just going to grab the URL of, or we're just going to open this, which I've opened up here. And as you can see, here is the content, images, etc., etc. Now I'm just going to copy all of this text and I'm going to come back into Bard and I'm just going to paste that text in here. Now there are some things that I need to delete out of here, like the copyright and all that. Because when you press Control A, it just grabs all the text on your uh, on your screen. So I'm just going to delete out those kind of things like the social media sharing and kind of uh, related posts and stuff like that. Uh, they're at the top and bottom of my page. And I'm going to delete out the updated and the, the dates and stuff like that. And I'm just going to press Enter. And what basically Google Bard is going to do is Google Bard is just going to give me a list of different things that I can actually do to make my page better. So first thing, title tag is too long and contains unnecessary words, uh, um, such as clickbank account disabled, and here's a quick fix. Title tag should be concise and descriptive, and a good title tag of the page would be how to fix a disabled clickbank account. So it's already given me a great little intro into that. It's saying, Google's telling, like Google Bard is telling me, hey, I don't like your title. So for me, that's a good thing. I kind of go, all right, look, I'm going to take that on board and I'm going to update that. Then it's going to basically tell me a meta description. Meta description is too short and does not contain enough information. La, 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 la. 
Then it says, good meta description for a page would be, if your clickback account has been disabled, don't worry, this guide will show you how to fix it and get your account back up and running in no time. Okay, excellent. And it's got headings, hashtags, it's got keyword density. And then it says, like about keyword density, it says the page contains a good amount of relevant keywords, but the keyword density is a bit high. All right, so that's a good thing to see. It's important to use keywords naturally throughout the text of the page, but it's important to avoid keyword stuffing. A good way to reduce keyword density is to use synonyms and related keywords. So that's a good thing for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the keyword density. I'm going to use a tool like SEO book to analyze my keyword density, or I could even use Google Bard here and ask it, okay, so can you tell me a breakdown of the keyword density of all of the main keywords on the page? Okay, so I could ask that. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm just showing you what it does tell you. It also talks about internal linking, etc. But one of the things that Google Bard can't do, especially when I paste in content like that, is it can't see images, it can't see headers, and it also can't see links. Okay, and the reason being is because it's text that I've actually pasted in there. So if it has things like that and you already know that they're on the page, well then just take it that you realize that they're already on the page. So the next prompt we're going to do is, can you provide me, copy, we're just going to copy this, can you provide me with uh, the top five sites ranking for why is my ClickBank account disabled? And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a list of the top five sites. Now, there's a reason that I'm asking for the top five sites, because what we want to do is we want to learn from the top five sites. We want to see, uh, all right, one of the things I love about Google Bard is it's learning all the time. So it's giving me a draft A and a draft B and seeing which one basically I want to choose as the one to actually learn from. So I'm just going to say we're going to continue with A. All right. And what it's done is it's come up and it said, all right, so these are the top sites here. Now we need to go to our next one. Okay. We're going to put this in here and we're going to say, all right, can you analyze my content on the same topic for ClickBank disabled my account or why is my ClickBank account, why is my ClickBank account disabled? And tell me what the top five sites do differently and how I can make my site content better. Okay, so we're just going to click enter. Click. Okay, so what it has done is it's brought up a list of the sites with things that they do well. Now, what I'm looking for basically is how can you make your site content better? So to make your site content better, you could make it more comprehensive and informative. You could cover more of the possible reasons why ClickBank account might be disabled, and you could provide more detailed instructions on how to fix the problem. So that's super important. You could also make your content more engaging and readable. You could use images, videos, and other multimedia, which I've already done, okay? So that doesn't really matter there. Here are some specific suggestions for how you could improve the content. Add a section to your article that covers how to contact ClickBank support if you're having trouble fixing a disabled account. Add screenshots and a video of your article to help illustrate the steps. Use a more conversational tone and write in a way that is easy to understand. Break up the text with headings, subheadings, bullet points. So again, there are quite a few of those things that I already do, but also there are certain things in there that potentially I can add into my content. The one that really stands out for me is this. Make it more comprehensive. So basically, make it more comprehensive, make it more concise, less of a fluff that basically is for increasing word count and actually get to the point and show a person how to do it. All right. So let's look at the next prompt that we have here. Let's look at um, how many times did the keyword, so how many times did the keyword, why is my ClickBank account disabled, here on the top five ranking sites. Now, this is good because what you want to do is you want to make sure that your content or your keywords are mentioned an average of the five times plus 10 to 20%. Okay, so what you do is you find the average of how many times it's been uh, said on all five sites, divide by five multiplied by six, okay? So as you can see here, Help Center is eight times, Affiliate Fix is seven times, Income School is five X, 
Smart Passive Income is 4x and ClickBank's blog is 3x. So what we basically could do is we would just then work out the fix of how many times it's actually set on ours and then add 10 to 20% and then basically go and update my content. And what I know from earlier on is that my content might be a little bit high in keyword density. So it's probably more than eight. Okay, so I'd have to go and check that myself. So let's have a look uh, at the next one. Can you highlight where the keyword All right, so what we're going to basically do is we're just going to ask it. Now, this is a really cool one, okay? So we're going to ask it, where have those keywords appeared on my competition's pages? And then what we can do is we can up those, update our pages really easy with those positions uh, or with those places on our site. So for the ClickBank Center, keyword appeared in the title tag, meta description, headings, subheadings, and throughout the body of the article. Again, it has to be affiliate fix is the same thing. Keyword appeared in the title tag, meta description throughout the body of the article. Uh, all of them. So we have to make sure if we want to have a chance at ranking here that our keywords are actually placed in here. So it needs to be in the title tag. It needs to be in the meta description and it needs to be out the, throughout the body copy as well. Okay, so super, super important here. So if you're missing out, on having it in your title tag or your page tag or anything like that, then you're missing out and you have less of a chance of actually ranking than if you actually went and put those into those places. So let's look at the next one here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say here, can you update my page content using the new information on, and we're just going to grab this, uh, And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this content again here. We're just going to paste it in here. And we're going to delete that out. Scroll up again. Now, what it's basically going to do is what we've asked it. We've asked, can you update my blog content using the new information on this? So what it's going to do is it's going to give us a title tag. It's going to give us a meta description, giving us some images as well. It's given us an introduction, how to fix it. God, all right. So it's given us all of the things that we need to be able to actually do this. So all we're going to do is we're going to go through the introduction. We're going to go through the reasons. We're going to see if they're updated within my content. And then we're going to go through. And if it's not done correctly, we're going to update and apply that knowledge into your article. So that's basically how we can do SEO for our content that we already have on the internet. And in the other videos that I have on search engine optimization with Google Bart, you can find out actually how to do keyword research. You can find out how to do oh, one of the most beautiful things with extensions is coming soon in terms of what we can actually do with Gmail and the extensions for Google Bart. Look, I hope you've enjoyed this. My name's Kieran Doyle. This is Get Free. And I hope that this video earned your subscription. If it didn't, <laughs> give me another chance at the next video coming soon. And um, looking forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.